I mean, it's used a lot. Oppositional defiant disorder? Yes. Uh, this came about back in around the early 19... late 80s and uh, early 19, uh, 1990s. You'd get these children who just were... You'd usually say they're just kids that are bad kids, they don't behave, they're mischief, they're troublemakers, you know. And um, we had those kids in our classes. Um, and, uh, you know, these are the kids that got uh, yelled at, detentions, punished. They wouldn't listen, they argue, they're opposite, they get, lose their temper, they throw temper tantrums. They will hit, kick, spit during a temper tantrum. Kick, kick, spit at parents. Uh, I, we even have kids now doing it to teachers. Um, so when a kid comes in and they are showing defiance in more than one location, it's not just in the home, it's at home, it's at school, it's even at Cub Scouts, it's even on the, on the soccer field, they, don't listen, they refuse to listen to the coach. And if, they don't, and if they don't want to play a position, they refuse or they quit, you know, they sit down on the grass and won't get up. So we're getting kids that they get labeled oppositional defiant disorder. Now, in the new DSM, which is coming out, which, this is, which the medical, American Medical Association uh, is the official diagnostic nomenclature di um, um, source, they're coming up with temper dysregulation. And they're starting to look at it again a little bit, maybe perhaps the mood disorder is a sub, another subtype of a mood disorder where the child is just so irritable that that's really why they're oppositional and defiant, not so much that they're antisocial and anti-authority. So this is going to change its name and its flavor many times? Yes.